Today we'll be making an apple custard tart. There's three components to this tart. There's the crust, there's the apples, and then a custard filling that we'll be making to put over the top and bake. Let's start off by making the crust. I'm going to use the food processor today to make the crust. I've actually got an attachment here that's not a blade. This is a dough blade, so it's not as sharp as a regular cutting blade. And I'm going to start by adding my flour. I'm going to add the sugar, just a pinch of salt. You put the lid on and mix those together. I've got one stick of butter. This is an unsalted butter. And we're going to pulse it until the flour gets a little crumbly. I've got some ice water here. Just simply water with some uh, ice I'd put in it and it's melted. And we're going to put a third of a cup of water in here. And you can see this is starting to come together real nicely. See our texture is very crumbly. But this is going to come together real nice as we need it. And we're just going to push this all together. And you can see how nicely that comes together. It's still nice and tender. And we're just going to start from the center. Roll out. We're going to give it a half turn. Roll out. So we have our rolled dough. I'm going to put it over the rolling pin like this, and we're going to roll it over the top. Just to place it in there, we're going to center it. And then I'm going to gently press down in the bottom and against the sides. Now at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and take your rolling pin, and we want to get rid of this excess dough. So I'm going to take it, and we're just going to roll over the top that way, roll over the top this way. Cleans it up really nicely. We want to pre-brown this, so what I'm going to do uh, for just a little bit is put this in the refrigerator and chill it for about 15 minutes. Once I took it out of the refrigerator, I took a fork and uh, pricked the bottom of it so it wouldn't puff. Also made some aluminum foil to fit inside the shell and put, uh, these are dried garbanzo beans, you can put beans as well, and this is going to help the dough from puffing up. Got some half and half, and what we want to do is bring this to a boil. We're going to mix up some of our ingredients for this custard. We're going to start off with some flour, add some sugar, and two cracked eggs. We're going to mix these together into a nice smooth paste. Now we've got hot cream and we've got egg in here, so we don't want to add it all at once or it's going to scramble that egg. So I'm going to pour just a little bit in there to temper the egg. Now that we've got that, I'm just going to go slowly add this to our cream, and there's our custard base. So this is now ready to go on top of the apples when we get the apples ready. I'm going to take two tablespoons of unsalted butter, put it in my hot pan, and we're going to add our sugar to it as well. And then we're going to add our apples. This is about a pound and a half of apples. All right. We're going to cook this in that butter and sugar. Probably going to take about uh, three, four minutes, maybe up to five, depending on how thick you have your apples. Okay, we've got our sauteed apples. We have our pie crust that's been pre-browned, and then we have our custard. So now it's time to assemble the tart. Okay, we've got our cooked apple slices, and I'm going to go around and arrange these in a nice circular pattern. We're going to pour that over the top, nice and slowly. Let it go down in between the apples. We're going to put it in the oven and cook it until it's set. Now to tell if it's set, you're going to put a, uh, a toothpick or a sharp knife in it. If it comes out clean, it's ready to roll. So there we have our apple custard tart. All these recipes are available at digindfw.com.